hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of the New Valyrian Empire as we continue to rule under Emperor Orion the Conqueror with his excellent diplomacy stat. Uh, our treasury is looking pretty good. We've got our Valyrian steel sword, we've got our glass candle and we've got our dragon most importantly. So we are going to continue. We've got an awful lot of cash after sieging endlessly and putting down our rebels so the capital is being upgraded very nicely uh, we can also consider colonizing a place and I was thinking of colonizing Sarmel it seems like the place nearest us and it would be quite nice to do so let's go spend a thousand gold just like that and proceed with a colonize does mean though that we will be over the uh, size apparently probably because it's got yeah it's got a couple of castles but that's fine we'll give them away as and when they're built so all is well if you're enjoying the uh, new valyrian empire series then please do consider leaving a like hopefully i can earn your subscription you will hit that little red button to subscribe and help grow the channel Thank you very much for all the support so far, it's been very much appreciated and uh, your further support would be greatly appreciated as well. So we've got Abba here who is uh, he's a decent slave, let's see if we can squeeze out 40 gold for him, we did, excellent, well done Abba. Uh, what can I do here, enslave natives and geese, oh, why would I want to do that? I'm good, I'm good, I don't want to do that. Uh, better relations with uh, Esaria, which is great, because they're a pretty strong kingdom. I didn't realise quite how strong they were for us, but they're doing pretty well. Tyrosh is also doing well. Does he have any good traits? Because I've not really given him a title. He's not got great traits. So, if we can try and increase... Ah, City of Geese. Okay. For some reason, we now own this. I don't quite know why, but we we do. Oh, Christ. It's actually fairly good. Wow. Uh, so, what? Is this temple... A temple we can give to my Stormsinger? Because that makes sense. That gets us under the uh, level as well. How on earth? Why did we get the Great Pyramid of Geese? I have no idea. I'm not at war with you guys, am I? Where's your leader? Okay, he sits down there. Do you guys want a Dragon Conquest? I mean, at this point... Marine was next on my target list, but I guess if we already own this, the Great Pyramid of Geese, we might as well get the rest. Uh, I also need to get rid of it, actually, so I tell you what, if you let me take you on, then I can get the city, and... Please surrender, because I don't want to have to travel across. Oh, you're not going to surrender. Fine. We're going to have to travel across. That's fine. Volantis. Let's get your troops up. Uh, who is going to give me some more levies? No one, apparently. I've got another 8,000 available, but they're probably all in geese, aren't they? No, where are these other troops coming from? I've got some here. I don't even know where these... Where are all these troops? Oh, it's only 8,000 in total. That makes sense. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see what happens. I suspect they're probably going to go and start sieging the Great Pyramid of Geese pretty quickly. But we'll see. Your Imperial Majesty, we received word from someone that Great Master has led them to join a coalition in defense of new geese. Oh, that's not so good. Yunkai is helping. Okay, everyone is helping new geese now, so... This is not so good. My ward is inquisitive, but I have become friends with him, which is great. Have I got any things I can give you in the treasury? What have you got in the treasury at the moment? You've got a dragon bone axe, you've got your own dragon whip, and you've got a, an egg. I don't think you actually have a dragon though, do you? Oh, you actually do! Excellent. Can I make him train? Can't make him train, but we're good friends, so that's something at least. Okay. Uh, she's huge. We'll see. Okay, I actually do need to lead the troops here, and possibly my wife as well. The more dragons, the better in this. Because I might be having, uh... Lots of people coming our way if Marine and Yunkai are joining in this war. Let's just check who is actually in on this. So Yunkai is, and that's about it. I've got Pentos on my side, and that's about it. Really? Siloris, you are going against me. Of course you are, because you're such cretins. Never before has Soloris ever sided with me. <laughs> I think every rebellion, they fight me. Okay. Uh, pretty big stack, so let's burn them. Cheers, Dracarys. Ooh, that did damage Volantis though, which is a shame. But it has just rinsed their army completely. They've literally all died. 13,000 all gone. So that's this full stack that we've got here. Uh, I think we go and just siege out Siloris as a uh, recompense for all the crap that they do. I also need to get my Archon to deal with the colony at Sarmel. So when we have a period of peace, that's what we'll do. You want to join me, Elena? You do have a dragon. You're a Targaryen. Yes, I like that. Join us. Become a commander. The more dragons we have in our control, the better. Uh, we are going to siege the hell out of Siloris. And if we can, arrest him and just rinse him for everything he's got. You know what? Oh, we've already sieged it. Yes, clap him in irons. He is an absolute tool. Take out his troops. They have got some troops, actually, that are trying to siege out my capital, but they won't be able to do it. Right. Uh, maybe do the assault here. My Master of Whisperers, yes, we'll give you some cash. All kneel before the dragon. Victory in Siloris. And victory again. Right, head on down. Are we losing cash here? No, we're still making money. Colony at Geese is under siege. Right, they've landed some troops there, so we're going to need to go and save them. What have we got shipwise? I need... about 90. Another three here... Anyone 13 here? That will probably do. That will probably do. 
I don't need any more boats, boys. Oh, it's good old fleet here, but I, I think we're good. We're good, thank you. Get down here. The jailers seek your audience and they're all covered in blood. Send her to the deepest, darkest cells. Right, good. Another 13 ships coming our way. 103 boats. Form up here. Pick up the army. And we're going to try and relieve the siege at the Pyramid of Geese if we can. Which actually we should be able to do in time. That's great. Uh, no, he is going to be kept as a prisoner. He must bend the knee or face the axe. You give him a choice. Swear fealty or be executed. Oh, let's do that. He was dragged out in the ward of Siloris with axe in hand. And he was given a final choice. Swear fealty or lose your head. He chose to bend the knee. Good. We'll see how long that lasts, but still. Uh, Master of Whisperers, go back to your duties, please. I do not wish to get killed. Halano, I don't need you. Thanks very much. You're not even that impressive a character, so I don't know why you've been offered to me. But it's all good. Right. Get on board. Nope. Nope. Get on board. There we go. Pause. Come on over to the baked shore. And we will land you on there. Steward's Keep's been built, which is great. I've got an unmarried heir. I do need to consider his marriage, actually. That's quite important. Can he marry a sibling? Or have I just got... Oh, he's not got any siblings. That's true. She's still not liking me. I did make her stressed. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do any more of that. Let's just win the battle and leave it at that. Vargello, you can join us. Okay. This should be an easy win. Dragons will absolutely ace them. Go and start sieging some of their bits and pieces. Long before our endeavour to rebuild began, Geese had a thriving harbour crammed with ships from all over the world, but no more. Over the years, the harbour has fallen to ruin, silt and debris in the water, causing it to be unusable. Our stewards and Geese insist they need more resources to dredge and rebuild the harbour. Otherwise, trade will be impossible. So that's going to cost me 150 gold, or we're going to suffer a big old penalty. We've got the gold, so we might as well do it. You've noticed that Viserion is growing fond of other dragons and is keen to be frequently playing with or dancing in the skies with his cousins. Although this does mean he suffers the occasional injury from not so social dragons. So if he gain, gains playful, it does mean his tame and dragon egg chance increases, but his combat skill decreases. I don't really want him to be playful, to be honest. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, I need to consider who to marry you to. That's going to be a an after war thought, I think. All right, just get sieging on these. Let's not be patient. Let's just get this done. Uh, he can gain kind, patient, or brave. Let's see what he gets. He gains the kind trait. That's going to be good for his diplomacy. I'm happy with that. Right, head over to Jagor. We're just going to keep on sieging him, causing him damage, causing him pain. 
Uh, we can upgrade a couple of bits. I can also upgrade a castle shipyard, which wouldn't be a bad move. But we'll we'll wait and see. For now, let's just continue sieging out some places. Beleron has arrived at my court. Woo. Is this Beleron the Black Dread? I don't know, but that's pretty good. The more dragons that arrive, the better. Even if we have like an absolute flaming wasteland, I don't care. Yes, allow the jewel. Big old army here from Yunkai. Just going to keep an eye on. Let's go for a dragon siege here. We're now at 51%. He's losing county by county. The Yunkish are arriving and we are going to meet them on the battlefield. Don't worry, we will come and relieve the siege of geese. Which actually has a very, very good um, garrison. In fact, you can come and attack me. I'm fine with that. Come and attack me. I'll just finish this assault, but you come and attack me, and I will use my dragons against you. Okay, I am ill, which I don't like. I'm going to use my dragon in the battle here. And we're burning an awful lot of people here, lots of people getting depressed. Lots of enemies though, so that's fine. Takes us to 83%. Gonna continue here, sieging away. Good, 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 good. Take out this army. Good, we're back alive. Oh, it's 100%. That's all we needed. You're done. You're done and dusted here. Welcome to the Empire. And I'm gonna be nice to you. Because... Or do I be nice to him or do I keep geese? I don't know. Geese seems like a pretty cool city. Let me know in the comments, what do you think we should do? Should we hold on to Geese? Should we give it back to him? Because he's going to be resentful if I don't. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, and we will enact upon that next time. Meantime, we have the situation of inheritance. So come off fighting, and you should come off fighting as well. We need young Amond, who's actually become an exceptionally good diplomat. He's also got a full beard at the age of 15. Congrats. She's a Carthine. We were initially allied to Carth. I think we do that just to get him married. Yep, reappoint the old council. You want me to ask him to stand down he doesn't like me that much so yes I still can't change my realm authority until 62 so another 12 years that's a pain but the main council is back to get well actually no they're not back together let's get the main council back together come on boys you want to be Archon Bravos be Archon you want to be Imperial Justicar? Lease, be Justicar. Lord Treasurer, who have we got? No one good at all. <laughs> uh, the Lord of Siloris is pretty good. 13, you can have it. Why have I got Sahoy? I don't want Sahoy. Might give that to my son, who's still 15. He's got some good treasures. He's got his dragon. Inheritance is pretty good here. I'm happy with the inheritance. Uh, Orion is 50 years old now. It's quite a lot. 
Uh, I would like to try and improve relations with the Lord of Tyrosh. Because he's pretty low and he could be better. Viserion is still growing fond of other dragons and wants to be playful. We don't want him to be playful. It's going to be a pain if he is playful. A new Archon of Bravos has been elected. Is he any good? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Prince Amon adopts a very authoritative tone of voice with everyone, including his elders and you. Authoritative is pretty good. So I want him to keep that. Uh, but he might lose patient. He might gain proud or nothing happens at all. Let's see what happens. Well, he didn't lose patient, which is good. And he didn't gain the other thing, so that's fine. Levy of armies and levy reinforcement rate. This is going to be pretty key to get the training grounds. Uh, he does have a betrothal, does he not? Or did they reject it? Maybe they rejected it. Which is kind of annoying. She's quite good. To lossy though. I need a Valentine. That'll do. So the Ashai want the Miranese got rid of. Or at least embargoed. They're willing to give me 100 gold. I'm not sure it's worth the effort right now. I do, however, need to get these troops disbanded. Uh, yes. 25 gold. Oh, what a sensational gift. Let's have a wedding feast. Good. You can come on here. Bring them back. Bring my unsullied bodyguard back to Volantis. Ooh, that's steep. Spend enough to make it nice, but I can't afford that. I have not got that kind of cash right now. Court Poet. Court Magi. Master of the Royal Elephants. And a couple of Commander Positions. Can he marry someone else? Yeah, you could marry someone potentially powerful. A lady of Tyrosh, why not? A few people not attending the wedding. Master of Whisperers. Uh, I want you. Guests have all arrived. Welcome to the feast, everyone. Thank you, Fleet. You've done a great service for us. So his first wife is going to be wedded to him very shortly. A young Vagano. I can bestow a title upon you, so let's do that because it's a little bit cheaper. And you want Lotra Bay sworn to you. And you're in Pentos, so yeah, that does kind of make sense. Pentos is looking a little bit messed up right now. Who do you answer to? You should be part of Pentos as well, shouldn't you? Yeah. So let's give... Belados to Pentos as well. Belados. There you go. Okay, he's very happy with us, so we don't really need to give him much more. My wife, Manet, explains that she's captivated by the grace and strength of hunting birds and begs me for a bird of her own. Uh, let's give her a falcon. 
I'm not going to be buying any more Unsullied at the moment. We need to recover the finances. Plus 5 Vassal Opinion, but plus 80 Prestige and 10 from everyone else. So that's going to be a great jump on our Prestige. No. You're pretty good. And you have a dragon, so yes, I'm going to take you on. Uh, your Imperial Majesty has been def defeated. Oh, Dagnor Harlor. So there is a new king in the Iron Isles. City of Geese, I do need to give away. Oh, let's just give it to this guy. You can have it. I know you want it. You can have it. As long as you answer to me, then I don't really care. Have the city. There you go. Now you actually like me. Congrats. Uh, the Dothraki horse lord, Komako, has launched a raid on our lands, but it's plunder they seek. Go away. I'm not going to succumb to a uh, minor... Attempts from Dothraki to come our way. What's going on in Asaria? Okay, good. They've actually joined us again. That's excellent. And he is positive, which is good. Elena Targaryen has died. So she literally just joined us. So her dragon is now free to roam. Uh, I do need you to go and deal with the colony, though, don't I? Or I need someone to deal with the co colony. Apparently not. I do need a new storm singer, though. Uh, I also can command end of a war here. You're owned by who? Sarnor. You are my vassal, though. I don't really know how the Sarnor situation's worked, because Sarnor's just such a bloody gory mess right now. A daughter was born to Amon, so he's already having kids, which is great news. Uh, and the perk that he got was Intricate Web Weaver, which is quite nice. I'm content with that. Not bad at all. One of my blood wives covets the position of first wife. You know what? Because she's been nothing but trouble for me, yeah, you can have it. Congrats. Welcome, first wife. <laughs> my second wife is going to be like, what the hell? She's not going to be impressed with that. But I'm afraid, tough cookie. Uh, Valar can become a commander, which is excellent because she's got a dragon. So Marine is going to be my next target. How are you doing troop-wise? You're doing pretty low. I reckon we go for the Dragon Conquest. Dragonstone is under attack. From who? Uh, the pirates. Whoa, you own a lot. Pirate city of Gogos. Gogosos has got an awful lot of uh, troops. And they're trying to take over the Targaryen stronghold, are they? Yeah, I'm not going to get involved. I'm not allied to you, am I? No. What dragon have you got? You've got quite a good dragon, it has to be said. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Marine, however, your time has come. It's time for you to join. Uh, we have had Tyrosh join. I don't even know who this guy is, but he's joined. Geese has joined. Excellent. Mur has joined. I'm hoping for a quick surrender. You're going to surrender? 
No. Oh god, there's a dangerous faction. Wait, Astapor's joining them. Okay, well... They're gonna have support, but that's fine. If they have support... They have support. Not much I can do. Let's get an army assembled. In the capital, if possible, boys. Getting defeats up here, but that's fine. Uh, New Geese, you're supporting us? Yep. Let's disband your troops. I know it's a nice chunk, but it's fine. Your Imperial Majesty, on behalf of the ancient bank of Carth, I wish to offer you a loan with terms I'm sure you'll find favourable. This is to aid you in your conflict with good master Glesdom, who's in debt to our rival, the Iron Bank. So I would gain 340 gold and a five-year loan and take interest of 10%. I don't need the loan, though. So I'm good. <laughs> Simple as that, I'm afraid. A new dragon has entered the world, a young Vermithrax. That sounds like Parthenax from uh, the Elder Scrolls. Right, we need to prepare to uh, travel across uh, you want a five, do you? So you want the Lordship of Laboros. I don't even know where that is. Yep, yeah, you can have it. You deserve a title, you can have it. Dragon Terax is a ravenous beast, and he regularly roams around the land of Old Volantis, gorging the livestock. Offer them vague promises with our diplomacy skill. That's great. Don't even have to spend the cash. Right, let's get Velar leading... Cassano in second, and my first wife. My first wife's actually a good fighter as well, wow. Uh, but no, I will lead the second, because we need control of dragons here. Head straight to Marine. We'll burn it to the ground if we have to. Go, go, go. One of the slaves in your camp has distinguished himself, Tychos. Yeah, we'll take him in. That's good. Training grounds has been built. We're taking a big hit to our finances at the moment, but I suppose that's because not all of our realms are together. Has the colony here failed, or what's going on? We've received word that the dragon Nestarion, owned by Danes Targaryen, has died in Dragonstone. Apparently she just one day fell asleep and then never woke. 
It'd be cool if you actually got the uh, skulls from your dread dead dragons. That would be a nice, nice uh, feature. I don't think it'll happen, but uh, cool nonetheless. Sorry to the great city of Marine, you are about to get uh, burned. Ooh, actually a big battle there. But uh, they got pretty much destroyed very quickly. And we are going to use our dragon in the siege. Let him rot. Clap him in irons. That'll do. Marine is now under our rule. And we can in fact create the Kingdom of North Valyria. Now what will that encompass? Oh, that's cool. An entirely new kingdom, which will give me another 400 prestige. Oh, we're nearly at 10k prestige. Can we... Can we create the Empire of, or Kingdom of Westeros yet? No, we are still quite far off. But wait until everything comes back into my realm. We're at 403. What do we need? We need 500. We're not far off now. Right, let's get rid of you boys. And <laughs> my poor Unsullied have to march all the way back. You boys, you can also... Be, uh, can you get disbanded normally? Yep. Yeah. You come here and get disbanded. You want me to ask him to stand down? Uh, no. I think Essaria is a little bit more important for me than you guys. Sorry to say. Disband these troops. Another successful war. New Valyria has expanded even more. What's going on in Norvos? Why are you... Uh, threatened at the moment you're facing a little bit of a war 25 gold for you anyone else want to be ransomed yeah everyone does awesome everyone for ransom excellent excellent so I think our vassals need a little bit of a break we've had another successful expansion though geese and marine and no re rebellions this time crown loyalist is actually fairly decent and my son's turned out very well i'm very happy with him for his diplomacy skill he's got one wife oh no he's getting his secondary wife soon so he's already got uh, one kid so all in all pretty good indeed if you would like to see more, then please do consider leaving a like. If you enjoyed the episode, subscribe, hit that red button to subscribe and help support the channel. And I will see you all in the next episode.